and I go out driving after the show. Eclipse from Mitsubishi is the way to go. With up to 210 horsepower, it's got power to spare. The all-new 1995 Eclipse from Mitsubishi. Now lease an Eclipse RS for $199 a month with $1,500 down. Critics call Boys on the Side a comedy of wit and wisdom that can make you cry. Hello. It will touch your heart and tickle your funny bone. Boys on the Side, rated R, starts Friday, February 3rd at a theater near you. Arm yourself. Arm yourself. Arm yourself. With a different kind of protection. Arm & Hammer Deodorant Antiperspirant. Instead of covering odors, it absorbs and then eliminates them with genuine Arm & Hammer baking soda. And keeps you dry. So arm yourself with the only antiperspirant with the odor-absorbing power of baking soda from Arm & Hammer. Ego Nutrigrain waffles have been deliciously improved. And you're about to try them on an imaginary taste test. Relax, forget they're nutritious, because now Ego Nutrigrain has a thick, rich batter made with whole wheat. Close your eyes. Wait, don't close your eyes, but imagine the toasty aroma. Take one crisp, imaginary bite. See, with this new taste, you'll never want to let go. Now, wipe your mouth. You got imaginary syrup all over it. Ego Nutrigrain, a delectable new taste. Imagine that. This. They're quirky. Oh, my hemorrhoids are killing me. Uh, uh, uh. They're perky. Oh, they little freak. And they're jerky. Mizzou? Yeah, that's right, Sizzle Chest. Hurry! The Jerky Boys, the movie of Rindar, starts February 3rd. James writing has been known to have an effect on his reader. Whatever he writes. For years, I thought I was making all this up. Whatever he thinks. Do you read Sutter Kane? <laughs> becomes real. It's about people turning into things. This is not reality. It's all happening for real, Trent. The best film in John Carpenter's career, In the Mouth of Madness. I like the book? I love it. Rated R. Starts Friday at a theater near you. This shouldn't take long. We just wanted to let you know, Geo Metro is the lowest priced car around that comes with two airbags. The all new Geo Metro. Doesn't cost a lot and it has two airbags. If you lock your keys inside, we'll help you get new ones. If you run out of gas, we'll help you get more. And if you get lost, we'll get you found. The all new Geo Metro with around the clock roadside assistance. Want to know more? Just call. On Unhappily Ever After. Oh, Jack, buy me some new boobies. They're yours for $6,000. Guys hate them when they're artificial. I mean, they don't even care about big ones. God, look at them. Maybe they're really not that important. Yum, 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 oh my. Tonight on the WB. Yeah. Jean-Claude Van Damme. He's slamming. He's jamming. He's Jean-Claude Van Damme. Undercover in the state pen. No rules, no laws, no badge. It's Van Damme. You're under arrest. Take it, no prisoners in Death Warrant. Thursday at 8 on Boston's movie station, WLVI TV 56. I'll tell you, Eddie, life begins when you sit at the big table. Tell me about it. It's always the same. Diet Coke. Fancy food, Diet Coke, fun, Diet Coke, women. Yeah. The world's their oyster and they don't even know it. The next dance belongs to me, little man. They know it, Bobby. Boy, do they know it. Fifteen years ago, a year's tuition at a private college cost about $3,000. Today, it's almost $12,000. And by the time I get to college, it'll be still $12,000. Because you can lock in today's tuition rates with the U plan. It's good at over 60 colleges in Massachusetts. But you can only get it at Shomut Bank. So call today. 
the first step toward your kid's college education. Sponsored by MIFA. What am I doing here with you? You're my brother. It's your genetic obligation to help me. Right, right, right. So, with 150 horsepower standard, this Grand Am must really move. Oh, the test driving was a blast. The handling, the power. Well, that's why you get a Pontiac. And I like brakes are standard, and price-wise, the Camry and Accord can't touch the Grand Am. Really? Yep, I researched it. Well, I'd say you know what you're doing. Thank you. So what am I doing here? Helping me pick out a color. Color? Yeah. Their album made them jerks. What's up there, jackass? But their movie will make them bigger jerks. How did you let me down here, I'll straighten things out like you wouldn't believe, Hawkey. The Jerky Boys, the movie. Dude, we're playing on the phone. Rated R. Starts February 3rd. The average commercial break can last up to four minutes. Just thought you'd like to know. Ice cold milk. Help yourself. On the next Parenthood, Robert proves to Michael a minimum wage job is a cinch. Get out of here. I can handle the rush. Ooh. No, no, Only one problem. Michael's his boss. That's great. You're fired. Tonight on the WB. Wednesday on the Wayans Brothers, Marlon falls for a woman of culture. This girl got everything I want in a girl and more. She has all her teeth, no mustache, and you better marry that. And Sean helps him cover his dangling participles. Now remember, don't say anything until I give you the right words to use. I had no idea you were so romantic. That's because I was dumbfounded by your beauty. And that's because I was dumbfounded by your booty. <laughs> Next week on the WB... Charlie Sheen, Willem Dafoe, and Tom Berenger. Oliver Stone's Platoon. Friday at 8 on TV 56. Hi, I was just pretending that I can actually see the credits. You can see the credits at home, but I can't. I have to pretend that I'm looking at them. I'll show you one more time how it's done. Whoa. See, isn't that impressive? Next on my show, I try to teach my son a lesson about changing jobs. Please watch it, or at least look at the TV and pretend to watch it, or pretend to look at the TV while you're really listening to the radio. I have to go now. I'm confused. This has been a production of... Everybody's watching the WB Television Network. The Parenthood, brought to you by Pontiac and your local Pontiac dealer. We are driving excitement. Whoa, what's that? Pontiac GTO. Yeah. And that one? 69 Firebird. You're getting good at this. Hey, Dad, there's a grand damn coupe. I bet it's got a five-speed and 150 horsepower, like our sedan. Are you a Pontiac man or what? Yeah, and I'm going to drop a grand damn. Really? Which one? A fast one. That's my boy. Of course, I have to talk to your mom about this. I'll talk to her. <laughs> Arm yourself with Arm & Hammer deodorant antiperspirant. Instead of covering odors, it absorbs and then eliminates them with Arm & Hammer baking soda. Arm yourself with the odor-absorbing power of baking soda. You've been there. It's late, you've got a headache and can't sleep. But you're worried about taking a nighttime medicine. Why worry? This is aspirin-free. It gently helps you sleep, and it's treated nighttime headaches and sleeplessness over 200 million times. Aspirin-free Excedrin PM, the PM medicine for headaches from Excedrin. And now, introducing the first PM medicine in fast-acting liquid gels. New aspirin-free Excedrin PM liquid gels. Watch this. Watch out, America. Our Lady of Sorrows, front desk. Oh, I got hemorrhoids bad. My butt is killing me. <laughs> the Jerky Boys have got your number. Who am I talking to? Frank Rizzo. 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 Hello, only Frank Rizzo. Oh. Frank Rizzo, open your ears, jackass. Sometimes it's a good idea just to hang up. How do you cure this? What do you do? Do you jag me? Do you poke at me? What do you beat these things off with a stick? The Jerky Boys, the movie, rated R. Starts February 3rd. Arm & Hammer has uncovered 
An even better way to absorb odors with our fridge freezer pack. It has 20 spill-proof vents to absorb odors better. We've changed our box. Shouldn't you change yours? On Unhappily Ever After... My engagement ring. The symbol of our love is a rotten fake. I think you're glossing over something here. You just tried to hot the symbol of our love. Our love is over. But at least I thought it would have some resale value. Tonight on the WB. Yeah. Dry skin. It craves moisture. Lubriderm has fewer additives than other leading lotions, giving you moisture pure and simple. A healthier looking skin. Lubriderm. See you later, alligator. <clears throat> Throat needs soothing. <clears throat> Reach for new celestial seasoning soothers. Real fruit juice flavor in all natural herbal throat drops. Not too sweet, not too strong. Sore throat relief that's just right. Celestial seasoning soothers. Some things in life you have to wait for. A car of your dreams shouldn't be one of them. Chevy Camaro, two airbags, fuel-injected V6, anti-lock brakes. It's $14,995 worth of genuine Chevrolet. On Muscle, when we last left Kent, he was waltzing with Cleo, who had agreed to have Jane's baby. Now he thinks he's got the goods to put Jane, his loving stepmommy, soundly in the slammer. Confused? Jane killed my father. Well, don't miss the next Muscle. Well, she did. Later tonight on the WB. Yeah! Is it long? Yes, my dear. Is it long that draws me near? Is it long that brings me back into your Just for the taste of it, Diet Coke. I've been cutting back on cigarettes. It hasn't been easy. But I'm down to half what I used to smoke. And I'm ready to lose them for good. So I did something that's supposed to help. I just grabbed a pen, thank you, and picked a day. It's a good day. Now I've got something to shoot for. So I can kind of prepare for it in my head. I know it sounds simple. Simple things go a long way. If you're ready to quit, we're ready to help. Call 1-800-TRY-TO-STOP to learn more. What happens when a car offers the comfort of a luxury car and the performance of a sports car? What happens when the same car can outmaneuver expensive European sedans while getting the gas mileage of a four-cylinder compact? This is what happens. Presenting Motor Trend's Import Car of the Year, the Maxima, from Nissan. What is this? This is totally cool. Whoa, man, you gotta check this out. Look at this thing, it's like an eclipse or something going on here. Wouldn't it be cool like, if, like, right now, there was this total eclipse? TV. Oh, check that out. The all-new 1995 Eclipse from Mitsubishi. Now purchase an Eclipse RS with 2.9% APR financing. We started thinking the best way to get rid of plaque would be to just build a better toothbrush. That's how we came up with the advantage. The handle's ergonomic, so you can actually get a better grip on it. Then we designed a power tip so it really gets behind your back teeth and the action cup, so it's great at removing plaque along the gum line. It's the best toothbrush we've ever made. Who knows more about what makes a better toothbrush than Oral B? It is the brand more dentists use. If you haven't seen Muscle, take a look. Why are they throwing away my car? Your car? I'm mm, afraid not, Kent. You see, the car belongs to Survival Jim, and Survival Jim belongs to me now. If it's the last thing I do, I will see you rot in prison. Muscle. I need a lift, but I'll see you there. <laughs> Tonight on the WB. 
Jenny hawks her wedding ring. Our love is over, but at least I thought it would have some resale value. On Unhappily Ever After. Next on the WB. Slamming. <laughs> Jamming. Jean-Claude Van Damme. Death Warrant. Thursday at 8 on WLVI TV 56. Hey, Kevin Connolly here. And Nikki Cox. We play Ryan and Tiffany on Unhappily Ever After, and it's up next. Can I go now? You gotta wait until these credits are done. So we sneak out. Mom and Dad will never know. Cool. Who left the credits on? Jack, get in here. Can you believe those rotten kids left the credits on again? That's the third time this month. Yeah, well, they'll be seeing a different tune when they have to pay for their own credits. This has been a production of... Hello, my baby. This is the WB. On Unhappily Ever After... Oh, Jack, buy me some new boobies. They're yours for $6,000. Guys hate them when they're artificial. I mean, they don't even care about big ones. God, look at them. Maybe they're really not that important. Yum, 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 old mommy. Next on the WB. We married young because of Cupid and had three kids. But we were stupid. She kicked me. Something good is gold. Tasty things from Kellogg's in my bowl. Ego Nutra Grain waffles have been deliciously improved. And you're about to try them on an imaginary taste test. Relax. Forget they're nutritious. Because now Ego Nutra Grain has a thick, rich batter made with whole wheat. Close your eyes. Wait, don't close your eyes. But imagine the toasty aroma. Take one crisp, imaginary bite. See? With this new taste, you'll never want to let go. Now, wipe your mouth. You got imaginary syrup all over it. Ego Nutra Grain. A delectable new taste. Imagine that. for $1.99 a month with $1,500 down. Critics call Boys on the Side a comedy of wit and wisdom that can make you cry. Hello. It soars and belongs at the top of your list. A stirring celebration of friendship. Everyone go potty. We don't want to have to stop. I went. Entertaining and inspiring. It will touch your heart and tickle your funny bone. Whoopi Goldberg, Mary Louise Parker, Drew Barrymore. Boys on the Side. Rated R. Starts Friday, February 3rd at a theater near you. Let's go out to the kitchen. Let's go out to the kitchen. Let's go out to the kitchen and have ourselves a snack. Ice cold milk. Help yourself. Everybody wants the W. Everybody likes the W. Come on, baby, watch the W. The WB. On Muscle, when we last left Kent, he was waltzing with Cleo, who had agreed to have Jane's baby. Now he thinks he's got the goods to put Jane, his loving stepmommy, soundly in the slammer. Confused? Jane killed my father. Well, don't miss the next Muscle. Well, she did. Tonight on the WB. Yeah! Only in America could two lowlifes from Queens... What are you doing? Oh, hey, uh, 
touch a nation so deeply. What's this? Oh, I got hemorrhoids bad. <laughs> as the Jerky Boys. What you going to show me the toolbox? Who the hell is this? Frank Rizzo. Open your ears, jackass. God bless America. We're the best. Yeah. Tough guy, sizzle chest, my job. That's the sickest thing I ever heard in my life. <laughs> I like it. The Jerky Boys, the movie. Your mother's very proud of you. Oh. Rated R. Starts Friday, February 3rd. Next time you see your dentist, you may hear about Advanced Formula Plaques. Because Advanced Formula Plaques is recommended by more than 30,000 dentists. It's the only brand clinically proven to loosen and break up plaque before you brush, so you can brush off even more. That means next time you see your dentist, my teeth feel great. You'll see what Advanced Formula Plaques can do for you. Advanced Formula Plaques, 30,000 dentists strong. Ask your dentist. Tonight on Muscle. The game's over, Jane. I know you poisoned my father, and I've got the evidence right here on this little video cassette. <laughs> I think she's been poisoned. No, Jane, you can't do this to me. You haven't seen the tape. Next on the WB. Jean-Claude Van Damme. He's slamming. He's jamming. He's Jean-Claude Van Damme. Undercover in the state pen. No rules, no laws, no badge. It's Van Damme. You're under arrest. Take it, no prisoners in Death Warrant. Thursday at 8 on Boston's movie station, WLVI TV 56. Hits of the 70s, Eagle 93.7. When I was little, my parents taught me the safety rules. Never talk to strangers. Stop, look, and listen. If my parents knew then what I know now, there'd be another rule. Cigarette companies are out to get you. Watch your back. They're strangers who come into our neighborhoods with smiles and promises, spending millions to get us to start smoking. Let's warn our children. This stranger is a killer. Black History Month. A special time to teach our children. The hits of the 70s. Eagle 93.7. Low you are. <laughs> has uncovered an even better way to absorb odors with our fridge freezer pack. It has 20 spill-proof vents to absorb odors better. We've changed our box. Shouldn't you change yours? Arm yourself with Arm & Hammer deodorant antiperspirant. Instead of covering odors, it absorbs and then eliminates them with Arm & Hammer baking soda. Arm yourself with the odor-absorbing power of baking soda. That's it. We're through. I don't find you attractive. Truth is, you make me uncomfortable, so this relationship is over. Finito. I've got something new in my life. New moisture recovery from Lubriderm with Alpha Hydroxy. It exfoliates old skin, adding nourishing moisture to the skin beneath. So, move over, baby. Oh. Starting now, I'm into a whole new skin. And don't even think about coming back. New moisture recovery from Lubriderm for the skin you'd rather be in. On Unhappily Ever After, Jenny sends Mom packing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. But when she hits the road, Jack hits his target. Now she won't leave unless Jack makes nice. Go over there and beg for her forgiveness. Oh, no. How would you like to have the children for the summer? Oh, Mrs. Slattery. Unhappily Ever After. He robbed the WB. Yeah.
tonight on the 10 o'clock news the trial of an accused cop killer is over this time the jury had no trouble deciding and tempers flare in the john salvi trial while lawyers trade charges of egomania i'm john dupree join us for those stories and much more tonight on the 10 o'clock news All right, so what are we supposed to do here? Well, we're supposed to ask them to watch our show, Muscle, which is our next. Mm. Yeah, but now you said it, so what do we do? How much time is left? It's uh, about 15 seconds. You know any 15 second songs? Yeah, well, now it would be 10 seconds a song. <laughs> Boy, we really suck at this, don't we? No, you really suck at this. Yeah, well, why don't you just take off, go to your trailer, we don't need you. God, I hope he gets canceled. Wait a second, if he gets canceled, I get canceled, that's not good. Hello, my squad dressing baby. This is the WB. Last time on Muscle. Mm -hmm. Muscle was brought to you by Caravan Pictures, the Jerky Boys. Hmm. Only in America could two lowlifes from Queens. What are you doing? Oh, oh, yeah. Touch a nation so deeply. Watch this. Oh, I got hemorrhoids back. Uh, uh. As the Jerky Boys. What you going to show me your toolbox? Who the hell is this? Frank Rizzo, open your ears, jackass. God bless America. We're the best, tough guy, sizzle chest, nut job. That's the sickest thing I ever heard in my life. Ah! I like the Jerky Boys, the movie. Your mother's very proud of you. Oh. Rated R. Starts Friday, February 3rd. Dry skin. It craves the moisture of Lubriderm. Created for dermatologists, Lubriderm has fewer additives than other leading lotions. For moisture pure and simple. So it feels fresh and clean. For healthier looking skin, Lubriderm. See you later, alligator. Red dog here. Look at him. Making fools of themselves. And for what? A pat on the head and a dog biscuit? What do you think of that? Red dog. You got a mind of your own. Oh. Know what I'm saying? You do what's right for you. Hey, buddy. Nothing personal. Red dog beer. Bold yet smooth. Easy to drink. But I don't jump through hoops for nobody. Arm and Hammer has uncovered... An even better way to absorb odors with our fridge freezer pack. It has twin spill-proof vents to absorb odors better. We've changed our box. Shouldn't you change yours? Arm yourself with Arm & Hammer deodorant antiperspirant. Instead of covering odors, it absorbs and then eliminates them with Arm & Hammer baking soda. Arm yourself with the odor-absorbing power of baking soda. Wednesday on the Wayans Brothers, Marlon falls for a woman of culture. This girl got everything I want in a girl and more. She has all her teeth, no mustache, and you better marry that. And Sean helps him cover his dangling participles. Now remember, don't say anything until I give you the right words to use. I had no idea you were so romantic. That's because I was dumbfounded by your beauty. And that's because I was dumbfounded by your booty. <laughs> Next week on the WB... Next time you see your dentist, you may hear about Advanced Formula Plaques. Because Advanced Formula Plaques is recommended by more than 30,000 dentists. It's the only brand clinically proven to loosen and break up plaque before you brush, so you can brush off even more. That means next time you see your dentist, my teeth feel great. You'll see what Advanced Formula Plaques can do for you. Advanced Formula Plaques, 30,000 dentists strong. Ask your dentist. Critics call Boys on the Side a comedy of wit and wisdom that can make you cry. Hello. It soars and belongs at the top of your list. A stirring celebration of friendship. Everyone go potty. We don't want to have to stop. I went. Entertaining and inspiring. It will touch your heart and tickle your funny bone. Whoopi Goldberg, Mary Louise Parker, Drew Barrymore. Boys on the Side. Rated R. Starts Friday, February 3rd at a theater near you. On Unhappily Ever After, Jenny sends Mom packing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. But when she hits the road, 
Jack hits his target. Now she won't leave unless Jack makes nice. Go over there and beg for her forgiveness. Oh, no. How would you like to have the children for the summer? Oh, Mrs. Slattery. Unhappily ever after. He rides the WB. Yeah. The Hits of the 70s, Eagle 93.7. I have an unusual job. I spend 12 hours a day watching over 500 guys. Some who don't like me very much. To say the least, it can get fairly stressful. So when I was looking to lease a car, the last thing I wanted to deal with was a lot of attitude. Okay, with the Saturn people, I did encounter some attitude. But it was a friendly type. All secured. Will you do the fandango? Thunderbolt and lightning, very, very frightening me. The hits of the 70s, Eagle 93.7. Get ready to dig into winter with a Dodge Ram 4x4. Featuring a standard driver's side airbag, rear anti-lock brakes, plus the most powerful overall lineup of engines on the planet. And here's something else that'll warm you up to Dodge Ram. Up to $14.57 in discounts from package value when you choose extras like V8, chrome wheels, AM, FM cassette, and more. So while the rest of the neighborhood gets ready to dig out, get ready to dig in. Dodge Ram. See your nearest Dodge dealer today. Front. Arm yourself. Arm yourself. Arm yourself with a different kind of protection. Arm & Hammer Deodorant Antiperspirant. Instead of covering odors, it absorbs and then eliminates them with genuine Arm & Hammer baking soda. And keeps you dry. So arm yourself with the only antiperspirant with the odor-absorbing power of baking soda from Arm & Hammer. Depths of death row. Did you kill Joni Shriver? The key to a murder. I didn't do it, but I know who did. Lies in the mind of a madman. Just read the sign. What signs? Sean Connery, Lawrence Fishburne, Kate Capshaw, Blair Underwood, and Ed Harris. Did you kill her? Seek, and ye shall find it. Just Cause. Rated R. Starts Friday, February 17th. On the next Parenthood, will Robert's anniversary surprise backfire? I got this limousine. Stranded at the airport. Take us to the helicopter. Grounded. This rooftop restaurant. Nothing under Peterson? What a coincidence. There won't be anything under Peterson here either. Next week on the WB. Yeah! On Muscle, when we last left Kent, he got the goods on Jane. Jane killed my father. And he took it to the cops. What was that, Jane? Cat got your tongue. <laughs> but if Jane's the number one suspect... I'll call for help. You? Come up with another theory. Why is she down for the count? Jane! Come back! <laughs> Don't miss the next Muscle. <laughs> next week on the WB... Good evening, I'm John Dupree. A Boston jury decides the case of an accused cop killer, while O.J. Simpson is accused of dreaming about murder. Driving turns deadly on area roadways, and some are saying men just aren't what they used to be. The 10 o'clock news is just seconds away. Hey, thanks for tuning in to the WB this week. Next week on the Wayans Brothers, Marlon falls for a woman who loves poetry, and Sean helps him find his sensitive side. Then Robert Townsend's planning the perfect Valentine outing till Mother Nature steps in on the Parenthood. And on Unhappily Ever After, how will Jack apologize for the moped tracks he's left on his mother-in-law's face? The WB, continuing to weave a hairpiece of fun on your otherwise bald life. Ciao. This is WLVI TV 56, a Tribune Broadcasting Station. Good evening, I'm John Dupree. I'm Karen Marinella. No threat of a deadlock this time as a jury decides the case of an accused cop killer. A witness says O.J. Simpson dreamed of killing his ex-wife Nicole. And Governor Weld finds himself at the end of the line in Washington.
This is the 10 o'clock news. Guilty of murder in the first degree, words 20-year-old Terry Patterson didn't want to hear. This afternoon, a jury found him guilty of killing a Boston cop. Terrell Harris reports Patterson is sentenced to life in prison, while his co-defendant awaits a retrial. Is the defendant Terry O. Patterson guilty or not guilty? Guilty. Guilty of what, sir? Guilty of murder. It took the Suffolk County Superior Court jury just over three hours to return the verdict. 20-year-old Terry Patterson is guilty of shooting to death Boston Police Detective John Mulligan in September of 1993. He is also guilty of armed robbery and two counts of possessing unlicensed firearms. It is the verdict Detective Mulligan's family has awaited since the murder and Patterson's arrest. There are no winners here today. You know, this isn't, this isn't about revenge. Uh, this is the system of justice that my brother left, and it, it worked for him, just like it will work for you or me or, or anyone. Detective John Mulligan was murdered as he slept in his car outside this all-night Roslindale drug store. He was working a paid detail. Mulligan was shot five times in the face at close range. Prosecutors say the motive for the killing was stealing his service pistol. Throughout the trial, Patterson maintained his innocence and does steal despite the guilty verdict. He's confused and he still maintains his innocence. Says he was not involved in this. The first degree murder conviction carries with it a mandatory life sentence without parole. The conviction will be appealed automatically. Meantime, Patterson will serve his time in MCI Cedar Junction. In the, in the end, my brother will have his justice. And the, and the men who murdered him will, will be uh, tried and convicted and have their day in court. Patterson is one of two men charged with the murder. His co-defendant, Sean Ellis, has already been tried, but that trial ended with a deadlocked jury. A retrial is scheduled for Ellis in March. In Boston, Terrell Harris, the 10 o'clock news. There's been some speculation that Patterson might be called to testify against his co-defendant, Sean Ellis, but Patterson's attorney says not to her knowledge. Nancy Hurley says she hasn't been approached by prosecutors with that request. A drunk driver is being blamed tonight for the death of an 18-year-old honor student. Police say 52-year-old Bernard Duby was driving under the influence when his car crossed the center line into oncoming traffic. The accident happened on Route 1 around 7 o'clock this evening, about a half hour after he allegedly committed a hit and run in a nearby town. Today, friends, family, and his former teachers remember the victim, Joseph Ligauri. You're probably looking at a role model uh, that any parent would be very proud of to have as a son or any school would be very proud of to have as a student. Legowry's high school music teacher says Legowry always did his best, whether it was in music or in academics. Legowry graduated in the top 10 of his class last year. The 18-year-old was currently studying marketing at Northern, Northern Essex Community College. Friends and family gathered at his home today to share their loss and to remember their friend. He's happy. Now he's in heaven and he's, he's a saint probably. The gallery will be buried at 10 a.m. on Friday at the Immaculate Conception Church in Newburyport. Police say they will arraign Doobie when his condition improves. He is currently in guarded condition at Boston City Hospital. He's charged with drunk driving and motor vehicle homicide. Two people are dead after an oil truck crashed into a car at a Brockton intersection at about 3 o'clock this afternoon. The victims were passengers in this blue Cadillac. Witnesses say the driver of the Cadillac ran a red light. Police say both of the driver's vehicles survived and are being treated at area hospitals. Police are not releasing the names of any of the victims. A Boston minister is leading a grassroots style investigation into the October murder of a nine-year-old boy. Reverend Bruce Wall says he has information that strongly suggests police have the wrong young man in custody. The reverend is now risking his safety and his reputation to find proof. Since November 1st of last year, the Reverend Bruce Wall's self-appointed mission has had less to do with preaching as searching. He's looking for suspects in the drive-by shooting death of a nine-year-old boy named Jermaine Goffigan. Hours after police announced the arrest of a suspect, Wall says he started receiving phone calls at his office. He says the calls were from young people, telling him they'd seen the shooting and that the police suspect, Donnell Johnson, didn't do it. The Reverend is working closely with Johnson's family now to clear the young man's name. I've asked the homicide detective unit not to close this case. We have even given homicide 
names of suspects that we wanted them to look at. That's how serious we are about this. What young residents of the Academy and Bromley Heath neighborhoods claim to know, they are keeping to themselves. They tell Reverend Wall they fear for their safety if they rat on gang members. Reverend Wall, along with city social workers who are in these neighborhoods, say the fear is justified, the threat is real. In his flyers and a full-page newspaper ad soon to be published, this minister is now asking potential witnesses to come forward and to take a risk he himself has already taken. You don't fear you may get in trouble if you get too involved? After all, you're a juvenile court magistrate. I think it's important for me, wearing my other hat as a, as a minister of the gospel, to stand strong when there is an injustice. The Suffolk County District Attorney was unavailable for comment tonight. Boston police officials tell the 10 o'clock news tonight they will not ignore any credible new leads in this case. Damaging testimony in the O.J. Simpson trial today. A prosecution witness says Simpson dreamed of killing his ex-wife, Nicole. Our Simpson correspondent, Marta Waller, standing by live in Los Angeles with the latest. Marta? Well, today's testimony was by far the most compelling since the trial began. Ronald Shipp, a former Los Angeles police officer and friend of O.J. Simpson, was clearly distressed as he testified about his conversation with Simpson the night after the murders. He kind of jokingly just said, you know, to be honest, Ship, that's what he called me, Ship, said, I've, I've had some dreams of killing her. In his testimony, the jury heard Ship admit he told this story to author Sheila Weller for her book Raging Heart. Ship said he had visited Simpson's home dozens of times, had often played tennis there, and considered himself a friend. So he never told police about the dream comment. And I'd have loved this man for 26 years. And all of a sudden, you know, my thought process, I just, like I said, I wanted nothing to do with it at all. Defense attorney Carl Douglas insisted that conversation never took place and fiercely cross-examined Ship. So did you lie when you didn't tell me about that dream? I sure did. You did. You've lied a few times, haven't you, sir? Never in court. Never. But you've lied a few times concerning what you know about Mr. Simpson. True? Yeah, I'd say. Under stringent questioning, Ship admitted his friendship with Simpson was not intimate. You're not really this man's friend, are you, sir? Well, I, okay, to, all right. If you want me to, to really explain it, I guess you can say I was like everybody else, one of his servants. I did police stuff for him all the time. I ran license plates. That's what I was. Okay, I mean, I, like I said, I love the guy. Ship's involvement in the Simpsons relationship developed when Nicole asked him for help after she was beaten in 1989 because Ship had experience with the LAPD as a spousal abuse specialist. Because he didn't do more to help when asked, Ship felt partially responsible for the death of Nicole, and that, he says, was the reason he spoke to author Weller for her book. I'm doing this for my conscience and my peace of mind. Legal analyst Irene Ayala says Ship's testimony may be a big risk for the prosecution. I think that's the, uh, the main concern that the prosecution should have at this point is the fact that there are so many inconsistencies of the way that Mr. Ship portrayed himself in terms of his relationship with the Simpson family and the way that the testimony actually came out. His credibility is going to be a significant issue uh, in this case at this point by the defense. Douglas' final question today put Ship's personal life in the spotlight in a very unflattering way. Did you ask Mr. Simpson to go and bring you some wine? That's correct. You drink a lot, don't you? I used to. You've had a drinking problem, haven't you? Been in the past, I have. Judge Ito adjourned court early today so that those who wished to could attend the funeral of Bob Chandler, former football player and longtime friend of O.J. Simpson. Chandler died just last week from lung cancer at the age of 45. When court resumes tomorrow, Ronald Chip will be back on the stand for more cross-examination. Karen? Marta, was there some doubt earlier in the day today as to whether Ship would actually testify about these dreams at all? There was, and I think that uh, Judge Ito made it very clear that he is going to hold uh, another hearing on this uh, before out of the presence of the jury hold a hearing on it to be very specific as you may have noticed they're holding sidebar conferences out of the presence of the jury to really clearly define the limits of what can and cannot be testified to. Marta Waller reporting live from Los Angeles. Thank you. It was supposed to be a routine pretrial hearing for accused clinic gunman John Salvi. 
It turned out to be anything but. Kathy Kalman tells us today's proceedings took on some of the confrontational tone of the Simpson trial. All right, fine. I'm talking now. Fine. Okay, now live, stop talking. You say fine. Put your hand down. All right. Well, I would like to be heard at the appropriate time. Well, when it's if it's appropriate. Right. It was John Salvi's day in court, but it was the attorneys who took center stage in a dispute about the media. Okay. And in the meantime, Your Honor, I would ask, uh, you know, if Mr. Carney has a defense to this case, the place to do it is in the courtroom, not outside on well, the again, court, uh, courthouse uh, steps. And if he has a formal defense that he wants to make known to the court, he can make it known in open court. These comments about the only reason Mr. Salvi is here is so that a press conference can be held. That is so unprofessional and beneath a lawyer in this commonwealth, never mind someone who's supposed to be in a leadership position. The exchange followed the prosecution's unsuccessful attempt to postpone today's hearing. Prosecutor John Kilvin requested the delay because some of the victims injured during the December 30th abortion clinic shootings are still too sick to testify before the grand jury. Fifty witnesses have been called so far. Outside the courtroom, Salvi's attorneys went before the cameras to deny they are trying the case in the media. They also skirted the question of whether they'll seek an insanity defense. Right now, we would like to obtain as much information as we can about the days and weeks prior to the shooting in John's life. Salvi is scheduled to return to municipal court in two weeks, but it's unlikely he'll appear. That's because the grand jury investigation is expected to wrap up before then, and if he is indicted, the case will be transferred to Superior Court. In Brookline, Kathy Callum in the 10 o'clock news. The defense requested access to police reports and physical evidence in the case, but the prosecution was unwilling to comply. The judge will decide if the security of the victims will be at risk if the items are released to Salvi's attorneys. Let's get the early bird weather forecast now from Mike Wonkum in the Weather Center. It may be February, but that doesn't mean we've escaped winter's worst, does it? No, no. We've got some cold air coming, but today, what a day we had today out there. High temperature was 48 degrees, and well, let me show you the temperatures outside right now. It's still into the 40s in many locations, and we're seeing very, very mild conditions tonight. Now, of course, this all has to come to an end, and as the cold air comes in, we're seeing a few sprinkles out there, even an occasional flurry out to the west, but we may see a little bit more of that tonight, and tomorrow morning on your drive in, you might run into a flake of snow here and there, but nothing that's going to accumulate. So here's your early bird forecast for tomorrow morning. Looks like you'll see a few flurries in the morning, and then the skies will clear away. We'll see partly cloudy skies, but notice the temperature, a good 12 degrees colder than what it was today and the cold air is coming in. Well, coming up with the weather, we're going to talk about that cool air. We're also going to talk about all that flooding that's been going on in Europe. I'll give you the latest on that. And believe it or not, we may actually have a snowstorm coming for the weekend. I'll give you the details on that a bit later on. John, Karen? Thank you, Mike. See you later. Carrying a balance on your credit cards, it's going to cost you a bit more each month. That story coming up in the 10 o'clock news. Also emotional scenes in a New York courtroom. A mother confronts the carjacker who killed her son. Just look at the media attention our own Governor Bill Weld is drawing down here in Washington. I'm John Keller and I'll have details about Bill Weld's Potomac fever coming up on the 10 o'clock news. And I'm Susan Corwin. Here's a look at the LifeWatch menu for tonight. Your cholesterol level isn't the only red flag for heart disease anymore. We'll tell you the latest level to watch. It's a sperm countdown. The question is why? And the link between estrogen and breast cancer. You're watching the 10 o'clock news on TV 56. We could really use, use a vacation. vacation. Come and discover the continent of Puerto Rico. Discover the warmth of our tropical beaches, the wonders of our natural beauty, the legends of our centuries-old cities, and the challenges of everything you've ever wanted to do. Only a continent could offer so many great vacation experiences. Only Puerto Rico puts it all within your reach. Here are tonight's winning lottery numbers. Announcing Ford's biggest breakthrough minivan offer ever. The all-new front-wheel drive Ford Windstar is only $2.59 a month. The lowest payment on Windstar ever. It's loaded with standard features like dual airbags, four-wheel anti-lock brakes, and much more. Plus, Windstar has the quietest and roomiest interior of all leading minivans. But Ford's breakthrough offer is only at your New England Ford dealer during minivan month. For more information on Windstar, call 1-800-854-1500 now or see your Ford dealer today. 
When I was little, my parents taught me the safety rules. Never talk to strangers. Stop, look, and listen. If my parents knew then what I know now, there'd be another rule. Cigarette companies are out to get you. Watch your back. They're strangers who come into our neighborhoods with smiles and promises, spending millions to get us to start smoking. Let's warn our children, this stranger is a killer. Black History Month. 